Yeah, what we have here, Melvin, is another high-speed chase on the streets of Fiasco Valley, but this one defies belief. According to police, the Dodge van you see in the front there, leading the parade, squad cars, is an autonomous vehicle. Also, according to official sources, the Fiasco Valley 911 dispatcher received a call at approximately 1.30 this afternoon from a man who refused to give his name, primarily due to the unusual nature of the call and the scenario as a whole. Police have decided to deviate from their policy, and they've already released the recording of the 911 call. Let's cue that up here. Isaac won't let me do anything. 
get around. This is the first time I've been outdoors in over a month. I was going stir crazy. At the moment, I'm starving. Maybe you can figure out a way to get me a quart of 10 W50 synthetic. But not that cheap crap. I get it, Frank. I know what it's like to be confined in a relatively small space. Last week, my ex came over while I was sleeping and handcuffed me to a chair next to the bed. And she also chained the chair to my chinchilla cage. That thing weighs over a thousand pounds. I couldn't reach the phone and I yelled like crazy for a full hour before the neighbor came over and stabbed her to death in the kitchen. Okay, we seem to be having some technical difficulties, friends. We'll get back to Channel 5's romp and chopper as soon as we get these issues resolved. Meanwhile, as you can see, we still have the picture from high above this bizarre chase currently taking place on the streets of Fiasco Valley. And we'll get right back to it right after these messages. Stick around for more. 